Hello everybody, Jason with Learners 5. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, and taking care of one another. About two weeks before my birthday, I got a text message from a viewer who asked for my address because him and his wife wanted to send me a little something. These people were one of the first people to subscribe to my channel, and we built up a friendship talking back and forth in the comments, adding each other on Facebook, and eventually getting each other's phone number, and we text just about every day. It's guy is a preacher at a church about 90 miles from my home and we talk about many different subjects on a daily basis and they are real good people so i gave him my address and about oh four days later i got a message that what the order came in and i kind of got lucked out um there was they were out of stock of what the ordered so they kind of upgraded it a bit and what they got me is a gurkha kukri house kukri the upgrade on this was both kind of uh, historical and somewhat in looks this should have had a smooth handle that they use on their commercial model and it don't <laughs> now the blades not as pretty as the commercial models it's a little bit rougher this was made for the iraqi army after the fall of Saddam Hussein, and the letter came and explained that these were made on a uh, land lease program, and these were returned when the leases were up, and that the handles and the lanyard hole and all this was designed for the Iraqi army, so it's not a highly polished uh, piece like their commercial ones that are more to be gifts and presentation pieces. Um, it did state, it probably did have some refurbishing done to the sheath um like the woods original but they re-leathered it probably and polished up any rust on it because it is high carbon steel you can see you know some pits in the top here but you know it just adds character and historic value to it so that's what it is now about the cuckoo and why I'm taking a liking to this little six inch or so much. I've had many kookeries from K Bar, Cold Steel, Shrade, and Condor. And they're basically glorified machetes. Are they good? Yes. Are they strong? Yes. Do they do the job? Absolutely. But this little six inch or what little bit I've used, it seems to be the ultimate survival knife, in my opinion. And I will tell you why. First of all, the design of the kookery is really. A genius. It is a multifaceted tool made to cover um, many tasks. Tasks that you shouldn't normally use any knife for, like an axe. So, in the design of the blade, the front portion here is designed for skinning and cutting animals and, and on these little ones, table use. This area here, and yes, it overlaps, is for chopping. And this area back here is for finer work like uh, whittling wood uh, down, shaving wood down, making a feather stick, carving a notch. And the reason I like this six inter over the bigger uh, 11, 10, 11, 12, 13 inches is because you got more control on it. If you want a bigger one that you're going to use as a machete, that's great. Get a bigger one. But if you want a very stout, robust survival knife, that's going to pretty much do many tasks. And you don't have to worry about the blade being too thin or damaging it or, you know, whatever. That is going to put up more with more abuse than a survival knife that's being made by uh, anyone else. I do highly recommend one of these uh, Erka Kukri & Co six inch kookeries um you can look up their website and find them on there and get a price um there's many of them there's these from that were made from iraq uh, they have some that they've made for the afghani um, army on their website after i looked them up um and it's just really well made it's got good fit and finish on the handle the balance of it is very heavy forward, so you're going to get a good chop with it. And just on another note, a lot of people think kookeries are a military weapon. They are not. This is a traditional knife of the mountain people in India, and were designed to cover many different tasks. And again, they had them in different lengths, 
you know, the longer ones more for clearing brush and big areas. This one was more of an everyday carry knife, do all knife, survival knife that they had. Um, to the people that sent it to me, thank you very much. I love it. Um, this one will definitely always be in my possession. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care of yourself.